In the 19th century, the scientists that became famous. In 1856, the man who made lots of money by saying he knew about dreams was born. He was Sigmund Freud. Oh yeah, Sigmund Freud. He, he was famous. He said he was a scientist. Uh, but we found out he made up all his results and, and he was a charlatan. He, he, he was somebody who says they're a scientist and they're not a scientist and all the results are just made up. Yeah, charlatan. Pseudoscience. Sigmund Freud. We now know... Ooh, spelling mistake. We now know that Freud made up most of his data for his psychoanalysts analysis yeah freud f r e yes uh yeah some people want to be famous scientists get lots of money and not do the hard work psychoanalysis psychoanalyst freud uses used freud's theories and data are now discredited discredited yeah that means that we found out it was all made up. It was all wrong. People who make up data today are called pseudo-scientists. Pseudo. Pseudo. Pseudo-scientists say they are real scientists. Pseudo. Say they are real scientists, but they're not. Pseudo-sciences sciences do not use experiments to find out if their ideas are correct. A scientist spends his whole time trying to prove that things are wrong. Things that scientists say are right, he spends all his time proving they're wrong, trying to. Um, and that's the only way we know that science is right, is because everyone's trying to prove it wrong. And if no one can prove it wrong, then it's right. Sometimes things do get proved wrong. Anyway, pseudo-scientists don't do any of that. They just say stuff, make up stuff, make lots of money, fool the public. Scien pseudo scientists use the pseudo sciences to take money off people. The pseudo sciences are astrology, yeah, 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 uh, Libra, Leo, uh, Sagittarius, all that. Oh, it depends on where the stars are, depends on what your life's. It's anyway, that's just none of that, however, works. Or they say something that's so general that it sounds like it works, but if you read one of the predictions from a star sign that's not yours, it also sounds good. And so you've got uh, 12 star signs that all sound like, yeah, they're right for you. So they all sound good. Astrology and homeopathy. Homeopathy. Homeopathy is uh, the less medicine we give you, the more well you'll be. Yeah, that doesn't work. We've tried it. <laughs> it doesn't just doesn't work. Uh, bodies are good at healing one another. So it's themselves. Sometimes things just get well because your white blood cells make you well. Uh, and that's when the homeopathists say, oh, we did that. No, it was your own body. When they seem to work, it is either luck or the placebo effect. A placebo effect is that you've if a scientist gives you a pill and says you will be well, your body will fight much harder to make you well because you believe you will. So faith and belief really does help you get well. And this is called the placebo effect. So actually giving people sugar pills and telling them you will get well works. It's fantastic. And the only way that we know that medicines are any good is if they are better than sugar pills. And, and that's what we test. That's what scientists do. Only if it's better than a sugar pill are we allowed to sell it as a medicine. Plus, plus, e, bow. Good. And that's Sigmund Freud.